Hi folks, Glenn Rodin again from NewVisionSales.com returning and quite frankly in my office at the desk. I'd love to share with you everything that's going on outside but as you know with regards to FTC and of course we'd be interrupted quite a bit with a lot of folks on the telephone and hearing the phone ringing quite a bit. Sound familiar? That's probably happening with you and, and quite frankly I trust that you have a process and a significant call guide enhanced with skills not just scripts so that people have what I refer to as sales and, and business development intuition. But quite frankly, folks, when we get leads, perhaps some of them came through the evening, perhaps we're, we're getting them from different vendors, and there are some excellent ones out there, as we know, oftentimes people are shopping and they're shared. So we have to understand that they're not going to necess necessarily get through the agents or the representatives that are calling on the first attempt. First of all, I'd like to share with you my protocol for a fresh lead. Day one, call within five minutes. Call twice in the day, later in the evening, perhaps when they might be home. But I suggest leaving just one voicemail, and that's the first one. That's what I wanted to share my experience with you on today, is what I refer to as, and we utilize at New Vision Sales, as curiosity-based voicemails. Perhaps a new lead came in, as I mentioned, and what are all the other dealers calling and saying? I received your information, I can help you, great news, great news, great news, and maybe perhaps in a lot of their follow-up it's, did you buy a car yet? So we want to always have a good conversation starter for when they call back, notating the curiosity technique that we're using in our voicemail, perhaps. One example, I get a new lead, and of course we never want to encourage anybody to be dishonest. That only fulfills their, their, their fear that that's what we are and we're not. In fact, the old saying buyers are liars is because they're afraid. It's not because they're pathological liars in, in, in normal life. That self barometer technique, for those of you that have read my articles over the years, perhaps a couple of our books or some of our, have seen some of our videos, have heard me refer to the self barometer technique. And that's what's really essential for the use of curiosity based voicemails. What would get you to call somebody back? Would it be great news? Give me a call. I received your info. Give me a call. Or perhaps, as the old saying goes, curiosity killed the cat. If somebody found something of mine with my name on it and told me that it was giving me the courtesy of a call, I'd be sure to call them back. I'd want to know what it is. But I don't want to manipulate and play, play games to where perhaps self-barometer, it's a scam. If a new lead comes in, it has sensitive information on it. Heck, nowadays, just the complete spelling of somebody's name is part of their identity. And identity theft is, pretty, is a pretty major factor in their fear factors, okay? Or in their mindset. So what I like to do with curiosity-based voicemail is to merely let them know I've received some sensitive information. Or maybe, perhaps, I just had something come across my desk with your name on it and I take your privacy very seriously. Here at New Vision Sales, we, we, the, the last thing we'd want to do is ever put anything in jeopardy. So A, when, not if, subconscious folks, forefront of the mind, quick slick talk isn't working. What resonates with the back end of their mind to get them to do what we want them to do because they want to do it? So I, now, I want to share with them the why behind it. I received some sensitive information. It has your name on it. And we take that very seriously, as I said. So when you call me back, I need just to verify, A, that this is in fact yours, and B, simply how you'd like for me to proceed. Try it. You'll like it. Increase your callbacks. Double them by 50% or more by instituting a habit of using curiosity-based voicemails. Remember, habits either our best friend or our worst enemy. My name is Glenn Rodine and I thank you for your time.